Hello guys and welcome. After my last vlog was posted, I got a lot of requests from you guys asking me to do a quick tutorial on how I make my Zobo drink, so I decided to make this video for you guys. To make Zobo drink, these are all you need. The first ingredient here is hibiscus leaves, which is also known as the Zobo leaves. Zobo leaves are packed with antioxidants that helps to lower blood pressure and blood fat levels. It boosts the liver health, promotes weight loss, and contains compounds that may help prevent cancer. Next is the pineapple. Pineapple skin contains bromelain, which is a very powerful enzyme that is anti-inflammatory in nature. It fights parasites and helps with digestion. I will also be adding some cloves. Cloves are packed with nutrients and they are high in antioxidants. They promote the body against cancer and also help to kill bacteria. They also promote bone health, liver health, and help the body regulate blood sugar. So the next thing I'll be adding to this drink is ginger. Ginger is good for fighting cold and flu. It helps with digestion. It removes gas from the abdominal and intestinal tracts. It helps to relieve nausea, reduces inflammation. Ginger supports cardiovascular health. It lowers the risk of cancer and it's high in nutrients. To sweeten this drink, I will be using Nutri-C Instant Orange Flavored Drink as a sweetener. This drink contains vitamin A, B, C and E. It also has folate and calcium. I love the orange flavor that this adds to my Zobo drink. Now to start off making my Zobo drink, the first thing I like to do is wash my hibiscus leaves just to get rid of all the sand in it. As you can see, all the sand settles at the bottom when you run enough water into the bowl. So after washing my Zobo leaves, I put all the leaves into the pot I'll be boiling the Zobo drink with. I go ahead to put enough water that is just enough for my drink. After that, I add my pineapple and ginger. After adding the ginger, 
I cover the pot and put it to boil on medium heat so that the hibiscus, the pineapple and the ginger can all infuse into the water, thereby forming my Zobo drink. Now my Zobo drink has been boiling for about 3 minutes. I open the pot and add the cloves to it at this point. After adding the cloves, I reduce the heat and allow it to boil for another 20 minutes. So guys, it's been 20 minutes and I've turned off the heat. My Zobo drink is ready. After I turn off the heat, I still allow it to sit for about 15 minutes just so it could infuse some more. After which I strain out my Zobo drink from the leaves using the help of a sieve and allow it to cool down some more. As soon as my Zobo drink cools down, I like to add my sweetener at this point. You can decide to use sugar, ribena, this same Nutrici, or whatever type of sweetener you feel like using. So when I'm done mixing, I like to pour it into a jar and store in the refrigerator because I love my Zobo drink served chilled. So that's it on how I make my Zobo drink guys. Please try it out and let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.